Allie, you're in the Cliffs vlog. How about that? What are you doing? Cutting up some onions. There you go. Look at that knife. That's something cool. It's hot. It's a scorcher. It's like 90 degrees. Um, 90 something degrees, right? It's cooled down a little bit. Yeah, it's a little over 90. But, uh, yeah, just got the fire going. Got to do some cooking. Back at the airport, we have Steely Dan's acoustic, and we have Billy Joe Armstrong, 61 SG Jr. Kobach has one kind of like that, but his is white. And then before we take off, I always gotta say goodbye to our hero, Tom Bukovac, he's up there. Fifth from the right, no, one, two, three, four, yeah, fifth from the right in the Jim Irsay van. Everybody loves Jim. This is the view from my aunt and uncle, or my in-law aunt and uncle, Dan and Marla, but it's pretty amazing, right? What's up, everybody? Just chiming in real quick to say hello we're pumped to get out on the road um, our next shows are new albany and detroit so super pumped about those new albany will be kind of a little hometown show for stevie and i and detroit is just pretty cool so we're pumped to get up there um in the downtime i've had some days off so i've like just been relentlessly practicing it's been awesome i feel like i've made some big progress really excited about that with a band as good as this you know you gotta you gotta stay sharp. You've got to stay sharp or you will get drowned by the badassery of the other four guys in the band. So that's been fun. Today we went fishing. Katie and I caught 66 total fish. Katie caught 44. I caught 22. So she smoked me. I also ate shit and fell into the creek. So that was fun. Uh, but yeah, man. That's been. having fun To all the guitar players out there, a little look at the rig right now. I didn't figure out how to put this one back in. This is like a really cool copy of a Big Muff. This dude makes amazing stuff. Mask Audio. It's like a Russian green Big Muff, but it also has a MXR uh, micro amp in it. Amazing fuzz. This is an amazing Red Llama hand-wired that my buddy Ian League made me, who also made my main amp right now, that baseman, that PV kicks ass to. Um, this is an amazing overdrive, just sounds like a cranked tweed amp, the Halberd V1. The guy who made this, Ian, 
Uh, just sold me his 86 rat. This thing is just mind blowing. We got over here. The greatest delay pedal of all delay pedals. Like, it is amazing. Uh, I don't know why my screen is shaking like that. Um, oh yeah, our uh, dear friend and producer Tom Bukovac taught us this whole deal of how to get a boost pedal that doesn't suck your tone and there's this whole thing, it's like buffered and goes through a volume pedal, great stuff. Same dude that made that big muff, this is a phaser that he makes, I was just trialing it out. Tr greatest reverb pedal ever, True Spring, and this uh, Walrus Audio Tremolo really kicks a lot of ass too. Yeah, that's the main rig right now. As for the guitars, mainstays are this uh, Eastman SB55 Junior. Again, Ian League makes the best P90 in the world. That P90 kicks ass. That's an old silver tone over there. And then this telly is fucking amazing. Again, pickups from Ian League, Guttermouth Electronics, amazing Telecaster. Getting real beat up. Drum nerds, what's up? Hey, this is my uh, mahogany um, WFL. 26 by 14 kick drum. Um, it is a beautiful drum, uh, three ply. Um, you know, probably an old marcher, um, but yeah, I installed some vintage Ludwig Spurs to match. Not the right year, but whatever. And then, boom, for the 13 by nine rack tom I have. Um, Cause I can never get a snare basket close enough. I could buy the DW, like, you know, this, um, you know, and it has like a million adjustments, but I, who's got money for that kind of stuff when you can buy other stuff? Um, yeah, so um, this kit is really feeling good right now. Uh, it is a great studio kit, um, 26 kick drum. You can take the front end, front head off and then get some sick low fat tones with that or the big wide open thing or put a, I have a head with a porthole I think in it. Yeah, look at that. Always be prepared. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. It is Tuesday, so that means I have to work on the vlog, the thing that you're watching right now. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I got a haircut today too. Uh, you know, if you like it or don't, um, don't really care. But yeah, um, I gotta set my computer up. Um, I got this. The isn't it crazy that the MacBooks change the Apple changes their thing, so you have to buy stupid adapters just to plug in a flash drive. That seems like crazy to me. Um, hey, oh, it was my knees. Yeah, um, I usually work on the vlogs every Tuesday and um, that lets you schedule it for Wednesdays when they're usually out, um, but it lets it upload and everything and I can edit and we do all our editing, me, in-house. Um, yeah, it's been fun. They, uh, the guys, <laughs> guys hate me for coming up with this idea, but, um, they just got to trust me because it'll be cool. It's cool, right? Like, you guys think it's okay? I, I think it's kind of neat. Um, it's just kind of cool to document us in, you know, as a band, um, you know, it's just video journals. Um, 
we got heavily inspired by a couple people. Um, Tom, Uncle Larry, Tom Bukovec, if you're watching, thanks for the inspiration to do this because um, you are one of the main inspos and, you know, it's just cool. Um, but Casey Neistat too, um, you know, the OG vlog dude. So thank you both for doing that. Anyway, I gotta work.